Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to review this the set from Climb and we are talking about the Kodiak jacket and the Badland trousers. I chose this set on purpose, purpose because it, it's two different models and the rear zip, zipper, you can connect both of them and you can, you can use them without any issues. So this is why I wanted also to have different models and uh, especially because of these trousers of one thing which I'm going to talk to you uh, in, a in a little bit. Let's start with the jacket, it's the Kodiak, it's a sport touring jacket, okay, from Climb. They do off-road material and they do touring, touring material. The difference between both, both of them, it's basically the quality is the same, but on the, on the off-road uh, off material, they do not have goat leather on protections on the shoulders and the elbows and on the knees. And that's how you difference between off-road and the tourism set. This one, it's a sport tourism. It's very comfortable. It's very suitable for all weathers, my friends. I had the pleasure of doing a big event here in Portugal, which is Portugal north to south, and uh, I catch uh, rain, heavy rain, I catch uh, sun, uh, the weather, the morning weather and all that stuff, and only thing that I had to use was this jacket and adapt it to the circumstances. I do have waterproof things here in my, my, my Honda, which I, I brought, the, but I didn't take it off. The jacket, it's really waterproof. Jacket and trousers. Gore-Tex Pro works perfectly. I'm not one drop of water inside of my, of my clothes. And with this jacket, the only thing I was I wear all the time underneath was a simple t-shirt, okay? Nothing more than this, no base layer, no mid layers, just a t-shirt and it worked perfectly. Things here about this jacket, all the zippers are waterproof, which of course, and ventilation. It's the ventilation that saved me <laughs> on these hot days. I had, uh, it has a lot of ventilation. Basically here on the forearm, ventilation, here also ventilation, both sides. Then we have ventilation here on the chest, as you can see, opens here. Exhaust ventilation here on the back. And the air really flows on this jacket. It goes, you feel it, even now I'm stopped here, it's a little bit breeze and I'm feeling the breeze coming inside the jacket, the pants and everything. It's really nice that we don't have to have more stuff on your motorcycle, just one, one equipment does everything, uh, everything for you. Also, we do have storage uh, pockets here on the, on the chest level, with this front pocket here with Velcro. Uh, pockets here on big pockets, you can have your hands like this. I do have my keys here. This is the zipper from, from the back, when I don't have the trouser at, at, attached to the, to the jacket. So, storage, it's no issues. We do have storage, of course, inside. And since I'm talking inside, I'm gonna open it. And you can see here, I do have a kidney belt. It is necessary to have a kidney belt with this jacket, okay? First of all, it's an heavy jacket. And without this kidney belt, when you sit down on your motorcycle, you will feel the weight of the jacket on your shoulders, on your back. But once you put this belt on, you sit on your motorcycle, and everything goes away. It's uh, an amazing uh, how this thing works. I was opening to show you that uh, we do have pockets inside, but since we are here, we do also have protections, okay? For chest protection, we do have uh, shoulders, uh, elbows, uh, back protection. So everything, it's uh, level two protection on this uh, on this jacket, it is removable, you can, you can uh, wash them, you can change for other ones if you want, but this one's very flexible and I like the way they don't bother me that much. Uh, more, more things here, like I said, the zippers, everything is waterproof, I like this one, just zip on and close, I can open in both, in both directions, up and down, so I can do it like this, and then I can open it from here, okay? More straps here on the on your arms on, on both sides. Velcro here on your wrist to, to make a tighter a tighter adjustment. And like I said, leather goat here on your elbows. 
here also on your shoulders and basically this is it uh, the real uh, this really nice jacket from from climb the Kodiak uh, I just looked here and I forgot one one thing it's my the storage that I use the most which is this one here on my on my left arm where you can put your cards or credit card or everything to pay your tolls and your money or have quick access to it <laughs> this is the one I use the most it's the one I almost forgot to to mention more details about specifications and all that stuff and sizes you can check the Toratec website they have more information about this jacket the main thing here is to present you and to tell you how good this is uh, I've never had a jacket with this quality and this climb Kodiak it's an amazing jacket if you do this jacket with these trousers then you are in heaven my friends the trousers like I also Gore-Tex Pro it's written here two pockets on the side where I used to where I usually put my phones and I have all the tickets from the tolls and everything from this from this event ha! and something just fall down but it's no problem and this is why I chose these pants because of this big ventilation here on the front hair coming inside then you have the exits here on the on the back as you can see it is open everything it is it is open at, at the moment then you have adjustment here on the bottom you can adjust with pressure buttons super easy both sides easy to remove adjustments here strap adjustments like I said knees protection goodness but also level 2 and everything and again the same leather goat that makes it a touring uh, that makes it touring pants and you can have a better grip on your motorcycle adjustments here also I forgot here on the waist velcro adjustments I like it and everything works as it should also the zippers are uh, waterproof so you just have to make sure that you close everything when it is raining because I had one little issue and only when I got home and I find out what the problem was basically I closed everything all the zippers while it was raining and I got a little bit wet here on this area on my on my t-shirt and I didn't find the problem until I got home and I realized that one zipper this one here I didn't close it a hundred percent to the top there was a little bit gap here and that's where the water was coming in uh, I stopped on the road I closed the back zippers I closed zippers zippers zip everything is closed one zipper I forgot and that's the only place that the water went in but that was my fault it wasn't the equipment fault uh, but it is it, it is what it is but I had to tell you this little uh, this little thing that happened to me and having said this if you do like this presentation of this gear uh, I hope that you did I have to say thank you to Turatec for lending it to me don't forget to subscribe to the channel click the notification bell down below to receive my future videos follow my other networks and I really hope I can see you in the next one bye